Today's video is sponsored by Tenorshare and their For You Key password management software. This software helps you remove Apple IDs or lock screen passcodes with just a few simple clicks. Device and software compatibility is required. Of course, links will be in the description down below. They're currently hosting a 70% off their software to celebrate the upcoming iPhone 12 and the new release of iOS 14. So check out Tenorshare's For You Key software. Links will be in the description down below. Hey, what is up, guys? I by myself here. Welcome back to the channel and Apple's September 15th event has just concluded and I wanted to get on here and give you guys an overall recap of everything that Apple announced in terms of services, products, and everything else in between. Now, if you want the entire keynote, which is about an hour and a half, links will be in the description. But in this video, we're going to go over some of the most important details about the September 15th event. Now, of course, let's start with Apple Watch. Apple has made it official. The Apple Watch 6th generation is now available for pre-orders as of today, September the 15th. The new Apple Watch has a few improvements, a new sensor is built in, the new blood oxygen sensor, which is a new sensor now that comes with the Apple Watch 6th generation. A new Apple Watch is also a 20% faster and it has a 2.5 times brighter display. So two and a half times brighter display and the always on display is also brighter, improved water and dust resistant. We also see a new leather bands available with this new Apple Watch. But what caught me off guard was the new colors. They look so nice. The new blue, navy blue color is now available as well as a product red Apple Watch 6th generation is now available as well. This is the first time Apple actually announces a lower tiered entry level Apple Watch aimed at a younger crowd. Now, this one doesn't have the ECG and all the latest bells and whistles, but it is a more affordable option. And as I mentioned, this one can suit a lot of younger crowds as well. So the Apple Watch SE, this one is swim proof. It has a lot of the great features. It is of the same design as an Apple Watch fourth generation, has a nice display. Everything that you find in Apple Watch SE is pretty much what you have on an Apple Watch fourth generation, I would say. The new Apple Watch SE is also available today for pre-orders and available Friday day starting at 279 so apple watch se and apple watch sixth generation confirmed today for pre-orders and available September the 18th. Apple also announced some great services starting with Apple Fitness Plus. Now with Apple Fitness Plus, you get an entire training session right on the wrist of your Apple Watch, but Apple also announced the Apple One subscription bundle, which bundles all of Apple services into one. So if you use Apple Music and maybe Apple Arcade, now you have the ability to bundle these up into packages, which is a lot more affordable. Apple also announced brand new iPads at this event as it was high Highly anticipated, Apple has announced and upgraded two of their iPads, starting with the iPad 8th generation. This one is a Touch ID iPad with a 10.2 inch display. It is Apple Pencil compatible. This time around is USB-C. Inside we have the Apple A12 Bionic processor which makes it twice as fast as the previous generation. It is a brighter display. You get 10 hours of battery life and it is compatible with Apple's smart keyboard. But the star of the show in my opinion was the brand new iPad Air. As anticipated, as rumored, Apple has updated their iPad Air to the fourth generation and this is quite a big of an upgrade. Now we have no touch ID on the bottom. All we have is a full display, very similar to Apple's iPad Pro line. However, this one's the first. Touch ID is now on the power button of the fourth generation iPad Air. Now this one is 40% faster in CPU performance than its previous generation. Of course, Apple Pencil compatible, Magic Keyboard compatible, and it comes in five different colors which are really really cool it is a usb type c device and it is a 10.9 inch display which is a huge display the ipad air today took the entire event in my opinion it is a really nice looking ipad in last but not least apple talked about software ios 14 ipad os 14 watch os 7 all made available today as the gold master copy for developers tomorrow september the 16th everyone worldwide will be able to download ios 14 iPad OS 14 and Apple Watch 7 as well. And that about brings it into this video. Just a quick recap everything, as I mentioned, software, hardware, and services that Apple announced at the September event. Let me know what you think in those comments down below, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.